What's up guys? In today's video we're going to be updating the Pro 32 high voltage VTX. Now before we get started, make sure to turn your post notifications on, smash the bell below, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. Leave a comment, tell me what you think about the video, and without further ado, let's dive right in. So first things first, let's get together and uh, gather our quad. You're going to need a uh, little data cable here and a uh, computer, a laptop, tablet of uh, something with Agent, the Agent uh, X on it. Yes, the Agent X. Okay, once you got the uh, latest version of Agent X installed, uh, go ahead. Let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the uh, VTX to the computer here. Now originally I was making this video on how to do a over the air update since Trappy just posted a post on that two days ago on Facebook here. Uh, see the... Um, see... So... Two days ago he he posted this post here saying that there is a change log and in the change log he was stating that you're going to be on 2.0.18 and what he says here try updating or configuring the pro 32 vtx or other 32-bit tbs products via ota over the air is ota for the guys that don't know simply plug in the usb on the tx the TX, the TX being this, when he says TX, okay. So that being said, you're gonna plug in, quote unquote, this to the TX. Now, when I went to go do that earlier, I had got it to show up in the Agent X here, actually. Uh, I had it uh, show up and, uh, where's my mouse? Right. See, I had it show up. Now, look, when you go to plug this in, okay, what's going to happen? And what he's saying is, and you, um, you're going to take a battery here, and you're going to supposed to plug your quad in, okay, see? Plug your quad in, BTX comes on, the receiver binds, all that good stuff. Now, as you can see, the green dot pops up for your crossfire here. A green dot is supposed to pop up where it says like these for the Pro 32. Now I had got it to pop up earlier and in order to do the OTAs first things first what you want to do is you're going to need to wire it up traditionally like how you would hook up your crossfire and then how you would hook up your smart audio. But now you're gonna be adding the channel three wire and you're gonna be putting the channel three wire onto pretty much where you're gonna be putting the channel three onto what is the uh, TX, Crossfire TX1 would be receiving channel three, okay? So smart audio RX is gonna go on the channel four of the uh, unit of the um, receiver here, the pro, uh, the nano. Well, in my case, I'm using the micro crossfire. So this is what I'm using here, right here. That's what I'm running here. So I'm using this in this in my application. Same thing, three, four, one. Yeah, they they all they they go where they need to go. Like I said, I'm gonna repeat myself. You're gonna be putting channel four on the smart audio. Now, we're not gonna call this smart audio because essentially you're gonna be using a Crossfire protocol for now on, according to Mike Chen. Now, after working and troubleshooting this an hour or so with Mike Chen, we've come to figure out that OTA does not work for the Pro 32, and it seems to be that it is a firmware update. Now, you're putting channel three, like I said, 
to Crossfire TX1 and you're putting Crossfire RX1 to the channel 4. Okay, so that being said, let's get to it. Updating this. So, we're going to go back, unplug the controller. That's how OTA is supposed to work. Now, we're going to manually update this. And according to Mike Chen, point 1.09 is supposed to get it ready, okay, for OTA. Now, I have mine hooked up, wired up, ready to go for OTA with what I just discussed. Now, as you can see here, the Pro32 high voltage pops up. We're going to go into manage. We're going to go to firmware. Oh, wait, Ryan. There's nothing. Like, what are you talking? Well, Trappy's crazy. Like, hold on. No, 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 no. What you're going to do is you're going to go to the top left corner. Top left. Okay. You're going to go down here. And you're going to click include beta firmware. Now, I am on the latest agent, 2.018, 19. I guess that's what he's assuming. I'm going to refresh and just to make sure. It says app is up to date. I'm on the latest. Okay, let's go ahead. After you've clicked include beta firmware, we're gonna go ahead and click save. And then what we're gonna do is now you're gonna see, boom. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click update. In my case, I've already done it, it says refresh. And down here, you're gonna click update. I'll do it again with you guys. We're just gonna run the update. It's pretty, it's pretty fast. And as you can see here, it's running. So, after the quick update, it'll write it, verify it, complete, boom, you're done, and go back to configuring. Now, when this is all said and done and set up, the way this is supposed to work, okay, you want to go into it. For OTA, you're going to go into devices, sorry, not devices, channel map, general, I'm sorry, you're going to go to general, go to general, and you're going to select crossfire, the crossfire protocol, and it should be able to update OTA. Like I said, as of right now, it's not working. I've switched it back to the smart audio because with the crossfire protocol, you're supposed to be able to see like you're supposed to be able to see in your OLED, in your OLED here. You're supposed to be able to see VTX and all that stuff when you go into settings. In here. So, and right now you're, you're not. So, that being said, that is how you update. Make sure... You want to run Smart Audio, hook it up for now, have it all ready to go. Traditionally, Smart Audio, when it is time and ready, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your channel output maps, okay? Like when you hook up your uh, crossfire. Switch warning. Let me uh, plug in a battery for you guys. Alright. And you see how I got VTX? Okay, we're doing good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your art receiver here. And you're gonna go to output maps. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to channel four and you're gonna select crossfire TX and number three crossfire RX. Okay, so that'll get you set for OTA, but you're not going to have smart audio, so just leave it on smart audio in the meantime, and you're all set up for OTA. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the follow button, bell, and you know, do all that stuff. Screwbot Grinder, and go check out these guys.